The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. All righty, we've actually gone seven days without rain, and we're not expecting any rain today, tomorrow. The next chances will be Thursday towards the end of the week, but the heat will be sticking around for today. A little bit cooler and a little bit drier for your Wednesday, and then again, storms and heat to close out the week. Now, the majority of the United States going all the way from the Gulf Coast all the way up to the Upper Plains, dealing with a lot of heat right now. A lot of these areas are in excessive heat warnings at the moment. So this one goes until 9 p.m. tomorrow evening in Independence, Arkansas. But you can see there in the pinks, those are all excessive heat warnings. Temperatures nearing 100 degrees, and then the feels-like temperature anywhere from 110 to 115 in some of these areas. We're also dealing with what looks like a tornado warning down there in red, but a tropical storm warning for parts of coastal Texas. Uh, her, or not hurricane, tropical storm Herald has recently made landfall. It was about an hour, hour and a half ago. Now, bringing things back locally, today is going to be pretty warm. It'll be hot for some. Roanoke gets to 93, Lynchburg 90, 91 in Southside, and then the upper 80s in the NRB and the Highlands. Future trackers showing partly cloudy conditions. Most of these clouds are at the upper levels of the atmosphere, but by 5 p.m. we're starting to clear up overnight. A nice little cool front enters in, and then tomorrow our temperatures will start to basically drop into the lower 80s and then we'll actually get some drier air. We are dealing with a little bit of smoke early on today. We see a lot of smoke up to the north that will start to slide down to the south over the course of today by 8 p.m. That's basically where the heaviest stuff is. But over the course of tomorrow, it'll start to clear out. Now, the air quality isn't really that big of a concern, although we are in the moderate category, which is the yellow category. The majority of us are in the good category or the green phase from the National Weather Service. Now, overnight tonight, we will dive down in the lower 60s, upper 80s. Tomorrow, temperatures will be anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees cooler than they are today. Roanoke hitting 86, the NRV 82, the south side 85. And then our muggy meter is starting to dry out tomorrow. Our dew point temperatures are in the mid to upper 50s rather than the mid to upper 60s. And here's a look at what we're tracking over the next couple days. Big high pressure in the central part of the country. Now, as we get to Wednesday, we notice greens and yellows. It's a little bit cooler on your Wednesday. But as we progress closer and closer to the weekend, we'll start to see low pressure build out to the north and east and actually make its way to the south and west and push high pressure off to the west towards California, towards Nevada, Utah and Colorado. And then we will see storm chances return later in the afternoon hours. Now, the Atlantic is still active. We're still basically tracking a lot of areas, but Harold is the main one that we want to focus on right now. Harold made landfall about an hour ago, winds at 50 miles per hour still, but again, no threat, anything tropical here in the Roanoke Valley. However, our temperatures will dive down to the mid and lower 80s for your Tuesday, but unfortunately we are heating right back up on Thursday and then Friday could possibly be the hottest day of the year. I know I'm looking at Friday like 98. Yeah, 98 degrees on Friday. Yeah, the trend is just going up and up mm -hmm. and up. So when we drop hot. down to the 80s after that, get a little a little bit of a cool down. It'll yeah. be a breath of fresh air yeah. at that point. Starting next week, it's supposed to be cool. So OK, we'll be take nice. it. Thank you, Parker.